or in that corporation, one of the few things that they can do is provide for your health care. That's not a benefit. You're owed that. That's your right. All right. And uh, I don't know if this is a, qu a question. I'm just going to read it. Disclosure, where was I acting as a public servant? Give me my money and I want dental. <laughs> Am I supposed to read that out loud? Yeah, there you go. Why, yeah, why not? Like, seriously, people, you need to ask these questions. Contact the Crown. Ask these questions. What function of government are you claiming I was performing? And also, if you don't have a labor contract with me, the, where I agreed to work for $7 an hour, I bill out at a million dollars an hour because you cannot force me to do anything for free. In fact, if you want me to show up for a hearing, I charge a million dollars an hour up front because I won't extend you people credit anymore because you don't pay your bills ever. So the first thing I'm going to ask for when I show up at court is I'm going to ask for my check. If you don't have it, I'm leaving. And I'm going to bill you for my time anyways. Now, we have, a, we have a host on the station, and uh, she's been arrested. She's in the States. Um, she was arrested for trying to protect a disabled child, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, wow. Okay. And, uh, and stand up for his rights, and she, was en she ended up being taken away and charged and, and, you know, lies told and yada yada about her situation. Um, I actually have an article that I can send you to look at that, and I know you don't really deal with the American side of things, but she's in a complete police state where they don't believe that she has any rights and they will not give her any rights at all whatsoever. Can do you, is, is it possible to follow the same frame of mind that you're presenting here? Absolutely. In, I mean, has, has, she fi has she filed an affidavit correcting her status and, and an affidavit of the events that happened and put that in the court file? As far as I know, no. She would love to pick your mind. Um... She's just asked uh, d briefly, and I see her typing here. This is actually Pepe from the Pete and Pepe show. Um, I'm sure she's going to have more to ask, but she's not coming on very quickly, too. Can you ask, Dean, how you can prove in summary convictions court that acts only apply to public servants? You can't, apply, you can't prove anything. You put the burden of proof on your accuser. Are you claiming I am a public servant? Can you provide the payroll records? Can you provide me with a copy of the contract? Are you claiming your laws apply to me and then a, a man, a woman, somebody who's not an agent of the government? Ask, ask them. You, you got to phrase it all, and uh, you can phrase everything in negative averments too before you we file a motion into the into summary convictions there to have everything dismissed. You want to contact the crown in advance and ask them these kind of questions, right? Are you claiming that the, the, that these laws apply to me, and what is your proof? You got to remember, a crown attorney or be down the states to be a state's attorney, state prosecutor. They cannot testify. They can only enter evidence and facts. Well, we know what a fact is now. A fact is agreement of the party, and evidence evidence would be a contract, right? Right. So you contact them in advance outside of the courtroom where you're free from from police and sheriffs coming in and beating you for not doing what the judge says, and you default them. I'm going to give you ten days to produce evidence of all your claims. If you do not reply, you have agreed with me, you have no claim withstanding in fact, and I will motion the court to dismiss all charges. They don't reply in 10 days. Default them. Just write up something called a notice of default, a notice of non-response. You did not reply by my registered mail request. Send that into the court with a motion to dismiss. Say, this asshole admitted he agreed with me he has no claim. Dismiss this. Dismiss the charges. Right? What does the Bible say about uh, agree with thine adversary quickly, lest he drag you before the magistrate and throw you in jail? Does that mean to, for you to agree with everything that he claims? No. Agreement means you prove your claim. Oh, you can't? Okay, good. We have agreement. Thank you. Now, fuck off. That's what you're doing in court. That's the legal version of doing that. So start doing that. Start handling things administratively and defaulting these people when they can't reply, because they can't. You provide me with facts and evidence to support your claim that I'm performing a function of government or that you even have any authority over me. He can only have authority over you if he has a contract with you. And uh, Cami Cockanew is saying that there, that there's a, where any, that's where anyone can say, show me a certificate of tribal abandonment and any color of skin can do this. Of course. And that's, I know that's, it's, it's, a different, it's, it's a different version of the same story, basically. 
Yeah, keep it keep it simple. One question. Mm-hmm. Please provide me with a, a certified as true copy of the contract between our parties. If you don't reply in ten days, I'm going to I'm going to take that to mean that you don't have one. Thank you. Phrase that any way you want, or negative. You can phrase. I love negative averments when you phrase things in the ne- in the negative. Where I have not seen any evidence or been provided with any facts you have a contract with me and I believe no such evidence exists. I haven't seen anything. I don't believe anything exists. I'm going to give you the opportunity to produce one is what that says without you making any statements. That's just saying I haven't seen one. If you're claiming there is one, produce it. When they don't, you default them. You send the, uh, you send a copy of that and uh, swear out an affidavit. He did not provide me with a copy of a contract on request. We don't have one. Motion to dismiss. Send that into the into into the courts and tell them you're not showing up for a hearing because you're under no obligation to. And if you come and arrest mm-hmm. me, I'm going to fine you a million dollars for violating my human rights. If you're claiming civil rights, then enjoy jail because that's where you're going. Because civil rights okay. is what the government has legislated that you have. Right. Exactly. Your but human rights are inherent. You act- that's right. Now, can you do me a favor and give me a list? Because I have someone saying here, problem is so many of us have no experience with law, period. So even some of the most simple terms used still have no foundation in our minds due to a, a life of ignorance and never having to deal with the law. And we don't have the confidence to even attempt this stuff because at the end of the day, it's someone else's word. They say, what I crave is more and more examples, videos, transcript, walkthroughs, courses. It might help me and others to break through that fear bar- barrier. Yep. Um, I appreciate that, but at the same time, you have to take it from an individual stand. So, um, what can the individual reading materials? This is this is something that we need to put out there too. I know that you've named a bunch of stuff off, but let's just to wrap up. You know, give a bit of a, an overview of what your reading materials were to get you going on this path, and what you suggest everybody reads. Oh boy! I mean, uh, everywhere. I mean, I read. Uh Sometimes on a Sunday when I wasn't doing anything, I would just start reading Black's Law Dictionary. I'd read a definition of a word, and when I didn't understand one of the words in the definition of another word, I would then look up that word, what the definition of that word was. So then I'd go and read that definition of that word, and then I'd find another word I didn't understand, so I'd look up that one. I came up with all sorts of shit doing that. It was just incredible. But the, the biggest thing people have to understand, and uh, again, this is another Winston Shroud stuff. I really love a lot of his stuff, even though it's above almost everybody's heads. People have no, to it's understand. Winston, Winston sorry, Shrout. Sorry, one second. Winston. And how do yeah, you spell Winston the last Shrout. name? Uh, S H R O U T. And he's from down in Kentucky. Thank you. And, and he is one smart old boy. Now, people have to understand the power of an affidavit and why lawyers do not want you to file affidavits in the court. If you hire a lawyer, he's going to recommend that you don't ever do that. No, never swear out an affidavit. Well, you never have to fear an affidavit if you're telling the truth. Because if you swear out an affidavit and you're lying, that's perjury. You can go to jail for that. An unrebutted affidavit. If you if you swear out an affidavit and you give the other party that you serve it on a chance to rebut your affidavit and they don't, they've agreed to everything that you stated in your affidavit, which is a plain statement of facts. Now that's your foundation document for going after civil remedy or dismissing charges against you. An, unre- an affidavits cannot be sworn out by a prosecutor. They cannot be. They can't be sworn out by government. An affidavit can only be sworn out by a man or a woman. And an affidavit, an unrebutted affidavit, is sovereign truth in commerce. It is sovereign judgment in commerce. You swear out an affidavit and the other party doesn't reply, it's done. You've won. Cops will not swear out an affidavit. They try to say that their, that their, 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 their statement was under oath or whatever. No, it wasn't. Says who? Did it, usually a cop swears out their own friggin' statement. What, were they their own magistrate? They swore out their their own affidavit in front of themselves? Like, give me a break. It's such nonsense. People will believe anything. Yeah, yeah. unfortunately we will because we've been um, trained to take the shoveled shit and swallow it down. There you go. That's a good maxim of law. People will believe anything, and they don't Definitely. question it. No, because uh, well, because uh, so many of them are just under the impression that indeed yeah. the government has our best interests in in mind, well, which I mean, they come on. obviously don't. Even a judge, when a judge gives you an opinion in court, well, I don't think that blah blah blah. You say, I don't give a shit about your opinion. Put it in writing. 
If you're claiming I don't have human rights, put it in writing, put your signature on that, and give me a copy of it. I don't even give a shit know. about his determination of what a law means. I don't give a shit about your about your opinion of what that law, what that statute means. It doesn't mean that to me. And a, a law is agreement of the parties. You're not a party. You're an arbitrator. Don't stick your nose in my business. Yeah, no, definitely. Okay, we're coming to the end of the hour. It's almost 3 o'clock. Um, one more question. Dean, have you filed the Declaration of Sovereign Rights held by Indigenous Power? Ooh, indigenous is a yucky word, but okay. Nah, I know what I did was, and I, I think I, I told that to people there when we were looking at the Nui Corps, Notice of Understanding Claim of Rights uh, that, that, that some of the free men were doing up here in Canada. We looked at that concept more than a year ago, and instead of a 40-page document where I told the government what I believe I have the right to do, I contacted the government and I let them know that they're, they're a, a foreign nation. I said, you people are a foreign nation. Feel free to rebut that, but if you, if you don't, it stands. And I'm telling you right now that I have human rights. So if you are claiming there is something that I cannot do, you've got 10 days or 21 days to get back to me and tell me what I cannot do or what laws you claim I am obligated to follow. They don't reply to that, especially if it's in the form of an affidavit. An unrebutted affid affidavit is sovereign truth, right? It's judgment and commerce. If they don't reply to your affidavit that you believe that you have human rights and you can do whatever the hell you want as long as you cause no injury, and they don't reply to that, well, I guess that's now the truth. You can file that into any court record that they try to, any court file they try to bring a charge against you on. Sorry, I already have agreement with the government that I have human rights, and I'm not obligated to follow their statutes. Oops. Well, that court case isn't going to go very well for them now. Right. Um... I'm being asked if you will rep you'll help represent folks and go to court for them. <laughs> I'll help them, but your rights are your own to enforce. Yeah. Okay. And and that's and that's understandable. And that's Pepe asking from the states. Um, so I don't I don't know how that would work out, or if you would even travel. But you're looking into traveling to the states to try and figure that whole thing out. So maybe there's something for you to look at. Yep. I mean, hey, I'm always open to helping people and giving them ideas and showing them how to handle things administratively before court and settling outside of court, which is agreement of the parties. So it's the easiest stuff in the world. Uh, law is quite simple once you break it all down. You understand what's going on. It's very simple. Okay. Could you take power of attorney for your child and bid them out? You are power of attorney for your child. So that means that the birth certificate does not make them property of the state, which I Absolutely said Absolutely not. Uh, a birth certificate is almost like a claim of right. It's their claim to something. It's a liability that the government owes them something, not an obligation to obey statutes. And if if if, the, if that if people think that's the case, then send an affidavit to the government and clarify that, and see what they, and see if they reply. Okay, I um I would keep you on for another two hours, and I'm sure people would stick around to listen to you because you're absolutely fascinating and you know your stuff <laughs> and. You got balls, man. So we're very happy to have had you. I'm very happy to have had you on the show. Everybody has said thank you um, several times in the chat on the Freethink site. Uh, Dean, anytime you want to come back onto the show to discuss, update us, give us new information, um, I'm a message away, and I'm sure that I'm going to be having more private conversations between you I and, my, and John <laughs> because well, I have other questions. Invite me anytime, and uh, any questions people have, they can put it on YouTube there. Uh, let's uh, let, like, let's let's de disseminate the information. Get me back on the show if people have more specific questions and concepts. I love talking about this stuff. The more you talk about this stuff, the more you actually consolidate your own perception of the world as well. So, okay, and so you've heard it, guys. If you have questions, either send him a message to his YouTube account, and your YouTube account is Dean Clifford, is it not? Well, no, DCDOTCF is my personal one. And then right, the Free okay. Manitoba uh, one is the one where all the, the views are on the videos there. So, and Okay, so check those two out. If anybody has any questions and you don't want to go that route, by all means, you all know you can come to me and ask me anything, and then I, I pass along messages because I like to get to the bottom of absolutely everything. Yep. Um, Dean, once again, thank you so much for coming on the show, and I know we'll be having you on again. Hey, you know what? It's my pleasure. I like knowing that people are starting to get interested in their rights. Ten years ago, people said if I don't like Canadian law that I should leave this country. Now everybody wants to know what their human rights are. So it's flipped 180 degrees around. I'm happy about that.
and, and